Hello students and welcome back to Microbial Concepts. So today's topic is from FYBAC Microbiology syllabus that is basics of staining techniques. There are different staining methods uh, which on which videos are uploaded on my channel. So this is regarding the term that we generally used while the staining techniques that is what is stain types of stain, acidic, basic, neutral, and the properties and role of fixatives, mordants, decolorizers, and accentuators. Okay, so we generally use these while we perform the different staining techniques. So what they mean, what is the property, what is the function of these terms? Okay, everything is what we are going to in this, we are going to learn in this video. Okay, so do watch this video till the end. So first, what is the objective of staining? So staining, it improves the visibility by greater contrast between the organism and the background and it differentiates various morphological types, determines the staining characteristic of organism and at the time it direct diagnosis um, the disease. It helps in diagnosis of, of disease and demonstrate the purity of the culture as well. And we observe certain structures as well. Okay, so that is the main objective here. We try to differentiate the morphologically, uh, we try to differentiate the bacteria morphologically depending on the size, shape and arrangement and it also helps in differentiating the bacteria into two groups like in case of gram staining we differentiate as gram positive, gram negative. Then in some times uh, for even diagnosis purpose these stainings they are used to directly diagnose the disease and in case of uh, Purity of culture, if you perform gram staining and if you find two types of bacteria that is pink color and purple color, then it means that uh, violet color, then it means that your culture is contaminated. Okay. And if you find only one color that is say you find pink color cells, then that means that you have gram negative culture isolated properly. Okay. You have the pure culture. Other thing that we observe while staining or the other structures, those are flagella, capsule, endospore, etc. So depending on this, there are different staining methods and already a video is uploaded on um, capsule staining, endospore staining, acid fast staining, gram staining. Okay, so do watch those videos on my channel and get your concepts clear. Okay, so first and very important term is stain. So what is stain? So stain is defined as coloring agent which is used for coloring biological material. So a stain is an organic compound containing a benzene ring plus a chromophore and an oxochrome group. Now the benzene ring plus chromophore group. Now the chromophore group is a chemical group that imparts the color to the benzene ring. And the oxochrome group, oxochrome group is a chemical compound that conveys the property of ionization of chromogen, that is ability to form salt and bind to the fibers of the tissues. Okay, or you can say they both works so well that it imparts the color to your, or it imparts the stain properly to the biological specimen, and that makes. Uh, very easy to us to observe and differentiate by the staining methods. Okay. Now, what are the types of stains? So there are actually three types of stain: acidic, basic, and neutral. So the acidic is ionic, an ionic stain. Okay. So the chromogen of acidic stain is negatively charged. Okay. So the chromogenic group is negatively charged, and it is known as an ionic stain. Acidic stain are used to stain the positively charged components such as background staining. Histone protein is positively charged so it can be stained by acidic stain. Acidic stain cannot stain bacterial cell due to the repulsion of the same charge. That means the bacterial cell wall is also negatively charged. Okay, So the example here is eosin, nigrosin and India ink. Okay, these are the examples of acidic stain. Then there is B6 stain that is cationic stain. Now the chromogen or the colored part of the basic stain is positively charged and so it is known as cationic stain. Now basic stain are used to stain negatively charged components such as bacterial cell. 
Now the examples are methylene blue, saffron in, malachite green, basic fuchsin and crystal violet. Okay, so they can easily enter the bacterial cell wall and they can sail the cyto, uh, they can stain the cytoplasm and that's the reason it is ba uh, the basic stain is used and as it is positively charged, it can enter the negatively charged bacterial cell wall. Okay, the neutral stain is another one, another type of the stain and the in neutral stain both cationic and anionic uh, stains or the anionic properties or anionic charge is present. Okay and they are colored such that the net charge is neutral okay the neutral stain are actually salt of acidic and basic stain okay the example is gymsa stain okay so this was about the types of stain now the easy flow chart to remember so types of staining techniques so you can differentiate them as differential staining and simple staining in case of simple staining single stain is used okay so there is direct stain that is positive and indirect where it is negative staining then in case of differential staining use of two contrasting stains is done so it helps in separation in groups like gram staining where we um, differentiate the group of bacteria into gram positive or gram negative and acid fast stain where we differentiate as acid fast and non acid fast in case of visualization of structures uh, there are staining techniques where we try to visualize the flagella capsule and endospore okay so this is about the different types of about the staining techniques now about the properties and roles of these terms that is fixative margined decolorizer and accentuator now first let's start with the stain so majority of the stains which are used for staining bacteria they are of basic type as nucleic acid of the bacterial cell it attracts the positive ions okay so mostly we use methylene blue crystal violet kind of the stains and the acidic stains as they are negatively charged we use them for the background staining as they ripples or the repulsion reaction happens as the bacterial cell wall is also negatively charged so the acidic stain they cannot enter the bacterial cell now about the fixatives so mainly we use heat as a fixative in microbiology so they are used to preserve the biological specimen that is the main role and the main function of the fixative is it kills the organism first it causes the organism to adhere to your slide properly so that when you wash your um, stain from your slide by the tap water your organism should not get washed off okay that's the reason then third is it alters the organism so that it gets more readily acceptable for the staining okay this is about fixative then about the mordant so i will give you example here of grams iodine in case of gram staining okay remember so it is a chemical that forms an insoluble complex with the stain okay and it fixes or causes the stain to penetrate more deeply into the cell okay so that your complex should not get washed off okay so in case of gram staining grams iodine it uh, forms insoluble complex with the crystal violet if your culture is gram positive then this uh, crystal violet iodine complex it penetrates so deeply into the cell in it um, uh, stains the cytoplasm so well that when you try to decolorize you try to wash the crystal violet it will not get off okay as your culture is gram positive then this crystal violet iodine complex will stain and it will be there it will not get washed off and you cannot uh, or the culture will not take the saffron in okay so that's the reason why the mordant is important now in other terms it is a substance which acts as an intermediary between dye and specimen okay it is the one which is between the dye and the specimen and it which helps uh, staining okay then mordant these are used in indirect stains that is in case of gram staining gram sardine is used and in case of zeal linsen staining phenol is used okay so these are two examples of mordants then in case of accentuator it is a chemical which when added to the stain to make the reaction more selective and intense okay so 
it can or it can be said that it increases the staining power of a dye for example potassium hydroxide which is added added in lofus methyl blue okay so that's the role of accentuator it increases the staining power okay then about the decolorizer so yes the best example is of ethanol which is used in gram staining we use it as a decolorizer okay to try to uh, determine whether the culture is gram positive or gram negative if the crystal violet iodine complex gets washed off by the decolorizer then the culture takes in safranin and you conclude it as it is gram negative if after decolorization the crystal violet iodine complex remains then your culture will not take safranin and it will be violet in color that means the culture is gram positive right so this is the rule so decolorizer is a chemical which is used to remove the excess stain in indirect regression staining that is the example is of gram staining where ethanol is used okay so i hope all these terms are clear to you all so do like my videos do share my videos with your friends and do subscribe to my channel thank you